Almighty God, with gratitude in our hearts, we bow before you in humility and prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Psalm 65, The Earth's Joy It is good to give thanks to our God for the boundless mercy which renews us and makes us whole. Happy are those who know this and open themselves to His love. You make the sunrise and the sunset shout for joy. You are the Earth's fertility. The hills deck themselves with green. The meadows adorn themselves with flocks. The valleys gown themselves with grain. They dance together. They join in song. Your law governs her cycles of snow, flood, and rain. You crown the year with abundance. The wild lands are watered with the dew. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1. In all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A favorite children's game, I remember in our house with me and my, my two brothers growing up, was telephone. I'm sure you've played it as well. You know, where a short sentence is whispered into someone's ear that someone whispers it then to the next person, and then that person to the next person, and then so on around the room. And then the last person repeats aloud the message for comparison to the original when it began. And the message usually gets broken or confused along the way, passing through all these different people around the circle, demonstrating the inevitable alterations that happen when a message gets passed down from human to human to human. It gets distorted. So how can it be that God's message, uttered from the dawn of time and throughout history, is passed unbroken from person to person, from generation to generation, down through the ages. Can we possibly trust that we broken humans are hearing the real, actual word of God as he spoke it? St. Paul shares the secret and the answer to that. God's message is simply Christ, who makes us adopted children and heirs of God. We don't just say and hear the message. We become the message, brokenness and all. Let us collect all our needs and lift them in trust and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, hold you in blessing now and forever. Amen. Thank you for being with us in prayer today. Go in peace, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>